Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for joining us for our next instalment of the Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight webinar series. Uh, today, we're here to talk about how to trade reversals. My name is Paul Wallace, and here on behalf of uh, everybody at Admiral, we hope that you're all safe and well during these uh, rather uh, tumultuous times but uh, they offer opportunities for us to uh, to learn and engage uh, even deeper levels of the uh, working within financial markets and i said we're here today to talk about how to trade reversals a very very popular trading subject if you have experience of trading reversals or if you have your own particular style of trading reversals then you know i'd love to uh, hear it if you can put yourself in the chat box there telling me what what if any experience you have of trading reversals uh, so far in your own trading journey. If you're uh, watching this later on our uh, YouTube channel or in Traders Yard and you're uh, liking the uh, liking the video, please give us a uh, like. And if you stick with us till the end, well, hopefully there'll be time for us to go and actually have a look at live markets and just have a, a look at how what I'm going to talk with you today, how it actually plays out in the uh, in the live financial markets. So, you know, what we're going to talk about today is, well, you know, we're going to talk about trading reversals and we're going to talk about market phases so that you have a, a real clear understanding at a basic level before we even look at uh, how uh, reversal setups occur. We'll talk about, you know, how do most people trade reversals, okay, which um, might resonate with your own experience, maybe it'll be new. I, I always appreciate that we have a real wide range of experience in the room. I appreciate we have some people here who are just completely new to trading and then other people here who, you know, very experienced traders. And so, as I said, you know, we really enjoy the interaction of your own personal experiences of how you've traded reversals. We always find that fascinating, you know, and, and with all of these, even including myself, we all have lots that we can uh, continue to learn about, you know, trading reversals amongst every other aspect of our uh, trading businesses. We'll talk a little bit about, you know, why do people fail trading reversals? OK, what is it that they uh, sets them up to sort of struggle with it? And we'll look at right well, what tools can help you. OK, you know, we'll look, look through a few different ways that you can utilize to sort of identify and then trade reversals. And that's that's what we're quickly looking at. And as I said, if we've got time. One will have a little look at live markets at the end. So stick with us at the end because it's almost fascinating. So you can see how the, the theory plays out in the reality of the, uh, the live market. And I, and I recognize that that, um, that that can be very beneficial and helpful to you in, in trying to understand the, the concepts that we're talking about in our own trading journeys so uh about me if you don't know me uh, you know i've been trading for for many years i've uh, traded for uh, uh, funds and for clients and you know have coached traders along the way primarily i look fx and commodities for myself uh, primarily i'm a trend trader okay for swing and position trades and more i focus more on mean reversion a style of reversal trading for for my intraday trading so there's a lot of experience that i can bring to today's conversation about how to trade reversals uh, and as always, you know, here we are with uh, Admiral Markets, okay, a uh, Forex and CFD broker with a wide range of financial instruments on offer with a, a truly sort of, a, you know, a global reach that are licensed and regulated across a wide range of regulatory environments, providing competitive spreads on the uh, the main and most popular uh, trading instruments and allowing you to operate to sort of basically engage with markets on uh, uh, trading platforms like MT4 and MT5. If you have any more interest or questions about that, please contact your account representative and they'll be very happy to help guide you. So, uh, you know, see that, uh, you know, for example, even there, Robert's sort of saying that, uh, you know, my problem is not knowing when it's about to reverse. Well, uh, you just set me up there nicely, uh, Robert. Thank you very much for that. Uh, that will come out over the next slide or two about understanding when, you know, when it is about to reverse. I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can actually help you in, in terms of your, uh, in terms of, you know, how you analyze markets to understand when reversals happen. But, you know, when we look at traders, okay, we look at types of traders and what kind of methods and styles they work with, we realize that lots of traders are trend traders, okay, and, uh, you know, and, and they're very successful at that. And as a general rule, you know, trading trends is a, is a good way for a trader to, to start and engage with, um, with financial markets. However, many of them like to trade reversals as well, okay, where we see the market actually just having, you know, extend itself in a good trend, look to, to reverse and turn around. 
Uh, and if you are a reversal trader, then you know what can you do to improve your chances of success? Maybe you have some thoughts on that yourself. Maybe you've got some ideas. Maybe you know your, as I said, your own experience, a little bit like Roberts there. Okay, you know you have your own thoughts and ideas about reversal trading. And if you have, please put them in. You know, we, as I said, we love the interaction and the questions. And as I said, there are many ways for traders to understand reversals so that they can position themselves accordingly. Okay. Yes, you'll find with trading, there's, you know, it's, it's like that saying, there's many ways to skin a cat, and it's a little bit like trading reversals as well, okay? And I'm going to share with you a few different styles that hopefully will help you just improve your, A, your analysis of markets, and then B, your understanding of when and where and how you can position yourself for when a possible reversal trade is, uh, is appearing. As I said, the session will discuss how to identify reversals and how to engage with markets that are in the process of reversing. And hopefully, as I said, you'll be have uh, plenty here to be able to sort of take away in terms of, uh, you know, for regardless of your uh, experience, you know, different ways to sort of look and identify reversals so you can add that to your, to your own sort of a trading armory of, um, of tools and techniques and tactics that you have to help you with your own trading. So, as always, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, here's a question for you, okay? If you are a reversal trader, okay, and it'd be interesting to put, you know, in the box here, if you just quickly put whether you are predominantly a, a trend trader or whether you're a reversal trader, that always gives us a good insight into who's here today. But the question you've got to ask yourself is, well, why are you trading reversals? What is it about trading reversals that appeals to you? You know, what is it that resonates with you? Okay, and it might seem a bit of a strange question for our session, right? To set that up, but it is crucial for you as a trader to understand your drivers. All right? This really does become very important as you, uh, as you know, as you dig deeper into your uh, into your decision making as a trader. And you've got to ask yourself this question: You know, are you trading reversals because you have an edge? Okay, you have an edge in trading reversals. Or is it because your ego is in control? Now, uh, you might sort of look at both of those things and say, well, you know, which one applies to me? Or, you know, maybe neither of them apply to you, okay? It's, it's perfectly possible. But in any endeavor you're going to sort of, uh, sort of engage with in trading, you know, it's important for you to understand, you know, that you have an edge, an edge that will allow you to be profitable over a, you know, over a large sample size of trades. And, you know, <laughs> trading reversals, it, does allow that and you can achieve that but as i said only if you actually truly understand how to trade and also why you're trading reversals or why do i say that people might be trading reversals because their ego is in control because what happens is and you know um, i'm just talking in very general very generalization here but you know, what you'll very often find is that you know you can understand when an ego is in control because what happens is a market takes off okay a market takes off in a new trend all right and uh, here we go let's just draw this as we go because i appreciate that always helps you know the market has uh, is based and then it takes off and what happens is the traders who have been sat on the sidelines, okay, the traders who have been sat on the sidelines think, oh, you know, I missed this move. Do you know what? I'm going to sell it. It's gone too far, okay? It's gone too far, right? So it's overshot, it's okay. It won't go any further. So they sell into the market, okay? And they think, oh, this is great. Absolutely fantastic. Great, it's turning. But then what happens is the market goes up against them okay and now more people here are thinking well this market's gone too far okay uh, i missed the i've missed the uptrend okay but no it, it can't go any further than this this is the end of it and you know i'll sell it and it does and it goes down a little bit and then it carries on and goes on up again and makes new highs and the same bunch of traders are thinking they're getting annoyed now and they're getting angry because you know they're, they're not being right okay they're not being proven right so they short again it can't go it can't go any further it can't go any higher it can't go any higher oh and yes it does yes it does go higher and you know that story actually goes on okay it goes on okay and what you have there is actually a really nice trend by which point afterwards you know all those people who have been trying to short because of their ego because they missed out on getting into the initial trend okay or who think their ego thinks i know better than the market i know better than the market by this time they have normally you know they've uh, normally fired off all their trading gunpowder they've got no more positions left to, to basically put in and invariably that is when the market actually reverses and falls away so I, i'm talking in quite brief generalizations there ladies and gentlemen but it is important to understand okay it is important to understand you know when and if it is your ego in control you know rather than rather than actually you know you trading because you have an edge and if it is that you, you know when you look at that you realize that, that 
then that's fine. Okay, that is fine. You know, we, we all make mistakes on our trading journey. We all have to start somewhere. We all have to go with the uh, with the flow. We all have to learn that lesson sometimes easily, sometimes a little hard. It's about, you know, if you've done that and that has been your experience, that's okay. Just, you know, recognize it. You know, have the awareness to recognize it because once you recognize it, well, then you're in a position to make different choices. And if you make different choices, well, then you, you increase your possibility of um, you know, improving your outcomes. But you will see that lots and lots, you know, lots and lots of time, you know, or you see new traders will come into, you know, I'll see them in the, kind of the trading socials that I, uh, I, I run around uh, Europe and you'll see a trader come in and he'll say, oh, you know, or you know, I'm a great trader, I'm a great reversal trader because I shorted the Dow at, you know, at 26,000. Aren't I a great trader? Aren't I absolutely superb? What he hasn't told you is he hasn't told you about the nine times beforehand he tried to short it on the way up and he was, you know, completely slapped in the face, okay, by the, by the market, right? So, you know, for the most part, once you can identify a dominant trend, all right, ideally what you want to be doing is looking to join that dominant trend, right? But if you find yourself thinking that, you know, your ego is sort of talking to you, telling you that it's, you know, that uh, it knows better than the market, this is an opportunity for you to put your uh, ego back in the box, which I appreciate is easier to be said than done. But as I said, a part of it is the first step is about being aware of it, okay, and recognizing, you know, am I trying to tell, am I trying to trade this because it is a definite reversal or is it just my ego in control of my trade decisions you know and uh, that that is a uh, that's a journey that all traders have to go on it takes a little bit of time a little bit of experience but you know recognizing it and being aware of it is the first is the first step so you know if you uh, you know you, uh, you if you want to put your answers into that you you're very welcome if if you uh, if you'd rather not that's that's understandable okay but just what i wanted to do is to take aware of it by being recognized you know do i actually have an edge when it comes to trading reversals or have i been doing it because i've just been annoyed and grumpy and frustrated that i missed out on the big trend and you know and i just i just want to sort of just trying to my ego's trying to prove that it knows better than the market and uh, what's, I just see uh, Robert just says that uh, Robert says that yeah that's exactly yeah that's great Robert you know you appreciate that you know you're uh, you know you're recognizing that it's um, as I said, that's the first step all right that's the first step to uh, to improving your trading. So, you know, it would probably help, you know, as I appreciate, you know, because we have a wide range of people here in the room is, you know, you really have to understand the phases of the market, okay, and you're at the most basic of levels of most basic understandings. So, you know, here we have three very simple phases of the market, okay, on the left here, we have a downtrend, right, and, you know, it should be quite clear, this is a downtrend, right, very clear as a downtrend. The sort of middle phase here, okay, well, that's that price action is, is sideways, okay, it's congested in a range. And then here, finally, you know, we have a third phase of price is in an uptrend. Hopefully that should be quite clear to you, okay, and, and, and when I say this, I, you know, I reiterate this, which may sound like, you know, um, you know, like the old saying, teach someone to suck eggs, but it's a case of, you know, you have to understand what phase that market is in. And you know, when I say it all the time, okay, you know, a good trend will leap off the chart at you okay you know for a new trader sometimes you try and push it you try and force it you try and project what you want to see onto the actual chart but you know a good downtrend should be very clear you know you should have basically lower highs lower lows okay good uptrend okay should be clear to see you know higher highs higher lows they leap off the chart at you and if you can't see that if it's if it is like in the, you know, the, the sort of uh, phase in the middle there it's a bit sideways it's a bit scrappy well, that's that's okay right that's okay you know you don't have to trade every phase of the uh, of the market okay but you have to do understand what phase am i in all right what phase of the market am i in okay and you know what i can uh, what i can say from you know one of my own experiences from trading is that you know downtrends and under uptrends they always overshoot and undershoot okay they you know they they always go they always go further than you think they always they always go you know not as far as you think okay if, if there's if that's one thing i could say it's trying to project you know exactly how far a trend will run is a very is a very tough and usually futile endeavor okay as i said you'll see good trends they will always overshoot and they'll always undershoot okay so it's a case of you know you just have to to learn to read and understand what market what phase the market is in and you know, and and as a general rule, as a general rule, you know, I say, you know, don't fight, don't fight the market, okay? 
I mean, you can fight them off if you wish, but there's only going to be one winner and it, and it probably won't be you. It's about recognising the, the kind of the real phases of this market. And that goes on to the second stage, okay? There's kind of like two more, kind of almost like five stages, five phases. And, you know, and, and one of those, the two of the other phases is you know, kind of a transition, right? Where we get a transition from a downtrend to an uptrend, and then a transition from an uptrend to a downtrend, okay? Sometimes it's quite clear, other times it's not. That's trading, all right? But, you know, we can see here that, you know, you clear that clearly price has been in a downtrend and overextended, okay, before it, uh, before it congested there, and then suddenly, you know, we start to have kind of moves that involves, okay, higher lows and higher highs. The price has been in a downtrend, but it has then transitioned to an uptrend okay and equally on here okay the price has been in an uptrend okay price has been in an uptrend it's made a new high but then what we can see is actually price has started to, to move and transition and roll over we've started to go from having gone from having higher highs and higher lows we've now transitioned across to lower highs to lower lows okay and price action is helping turn us that might look like you know a kind of a scruffy uh, head and shoulders pattern, as which we'll come on to later in this particular session. But it is about trying to understand those kind of five phases of markets. All right, you can have a downtrend, okay? You can have a sideways, you can have an uptrend, but you can also have a transition, a transition from a downtrend to an uptrend, and transition from an uptrend to a downtrend. Right? And if you can start to realise them and see them on charts, okay, and I have to say the only way you can do it is by practice, okay, there is no, um, there's no uh, super duper simple one-off magic indicator that just will immediately, you know, sort of choose reversals for you or identify them for you. You have to practice, you have to work at it, okay, you have to study, you have to look at charts, okay, you have to actually embed yourself in with the, with the actual instrument and sort of go through charts and screens and start to learn and understand how that particular instrument behaves. And yes, they will all behave, you know, in, in grand ways, they'll all behave very similar, but they will also have their own little uh, idiosyncrasies, okay, which you start to learn and understand as you, as you gain experience from trading. So, you know, just a question to yourselves here, you know, do you, are you, are you comfortable with understanding these phases of the market? Is this something that you kind of include in your own analysis? Lots of people will just look at, oh, well, I just want to identify an uptrend or a downtrend, and that's absolutely fine. No bother at all. If you can identify that, you can trade that and you can do very well. But also about as you grow and as you experience uh, sort of increases well then you know you want to be able to almost understand these kind of five phases of the uh, of the of the market and the more you the quicker you are able to identify what phase that market's in well then of course then that allows you to sort of choose the right trading method okay the right trading setup to, to basically work with the, with what that uh, with what the market is actually offering you so so when it comes to looking about how we trade reversals, uh, th there are actually many ways you can identify possible reversals, right? But today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna share with you four ways of identifying reversals and then being able to identify how to trade them. So we're gonna talk about price action candlesticks, price action reversal patterns, trend line breaks, and divergence. Some of you might be aware of one or two of these, some of you may not be aware of any of them. Some of them may be you know, aware of all of them. You may use elements of them within your own trading methods at the moment. What we'll do is as we'll go through, hopefully it'll start to build a picture of how you can go about identifying reversals in order to be able to, uh, to trade them. So the first one is, you know, price action candlesticks, okay? Now, your know, price action candlesticks, very popular, okay? But what a lot of people forget, okay? A lot of people forget when they're looking at candlesticks is by their nature, candlesticks are a reversal pattern right just you know tag that put that away in your little brains to utilize in future trading sessions right by nature candlesticks are a reversal pattern so the most important thing is is if it's a reversal pattern there has to be something to reverse beforehand okay hence why candlesticks in congestion areas you know they're of dubious quality okay it is when we actually see prices, you know, at trends, prices at the ends of trends. That is when candlestick patterns start to become useful to us. And so some of the very popular reversal ones here that we can see are, let's get the old drawing tool out here, is, you know, we've got rejection candles and pin bars, okay? These ones here, very popular, seen all over the charts, okay? You'd be expecting price to sort of be moving up. 
okay, before it reverses off that uh, bearish pin bar, okay? Or alternatively, price would be moving down before it prints a, uh, before it prints a, a bullish rejection candle pin bar and heads its way, um, heads its way up there. Very popular. And you know, the good thing is, is that you know myself and my colleagues, the ends of Marcus, you know, we have done quite a few trading uh, um, spotlight webinars on these particular different candlestick patterns. So whilst I'm only going through a part of it today, you can find great material okay on the trading spotlight uh, webinar uh, archives there on on youtube okay on traders yard on facebook okay that will allow you to basically go in even deeper into these particular candlesticks should you uh, should you wish to and um, and you should um, so uh, what we also have is uh, you know uh, uh, engulfing candles here okay so you know the the range of that candle should engulf the candle beforehand okay now lots of traders you'll see Lots of traders will actually kind of just work on a engulfing candle based upon the main bodies of candlesticks. Okay, uh, personally, personally, this is you know this is my personal view of how I look is that I want to see the entire candlestick, the entire range of the candle, the kind of the high and the low, engulf the previous candle. Okay, because if the price is traded there, there has been trading going on there, and I want to see that basically that that is where it is um, that that is where it's occurring. What you also have is we've talked about is, you know, key reversal candles where, you know, price is in an uptrend, price pushed to a new high, rolls over, okay, but closes beneath the low of the previous candle to signify a downtrend or after a downtrend, okay, price pushes to a new low, but reverses and closes higher than the previous uh, candle's high. And then we'd be expecting price to move up. And as I say, you know, there are, um, there are uh, webinars in the archive that will talk to you about that. And uh, we also have morning and evening stars, okay, which might be new to some people, right? So uh, just a kind of a think about it in terms of uh, um, daybreak and, and uh, dusk, okay, sunset, as in this here, this trade setup here, okay, that is a morning star because prices are, price has gone down and then it's reversed and price has risen okay like a daybreak okay and on the alternative okay and, and uh, sort of an evening star is you know price has been rising through the day and then invariably it reverses okay and so it got into some sense so um you know as i said price action candlesticks they're a reversal pattern they're very useful but they have to come at the end of a trend okay in good trades you should be able to see them just you know practice seeing them until they until they're almost kind of like you know it's, it's, a, it's a natural thing for you to see on particular red charts so that's one of the ways you can do one of the ways you can identify a reversal but stick with us ladies and gentlemen there's going to be more and more this is going to build upon each other as we go through it now, of course, that is price action candlestick. So that you know, you, you're really you're looking at. We were looking at, you know, what might occur, occur in one, two, or three candles. Okay, just you know, a reversal that occurs within that. But what you'll find is that those candlesticks can actually form part of a bigger chart pattern. And those chart patterns, okay, they either continuation for trend continuation or reversal patterns that can help identify where possible reversals are happening. So not unsurprisingly, when you see things like double tops and bottoms, which we have here, okay, there's a double top, there's a double bottom, okay, price has gone up, makes two tops and reverses away. On a double bottom, price comes down, okay, drops down, it forms like a W pattern, breaks the neckline, okay, and actually moves Moves, uh, moves north, it moves, uh, it climbs, okay. So, you know, they're very simple patterns. As I said, candlesticks can be part of that bigger chart pattern, okay. And especially when you, you know, as you as you grow and increase in your understanding of how you're looking at charts, you start to recognize these a good deal more. Head and shoulders is a very, very, um, very popular reversal pattern where, you know, you can see there yourself, you know, you have the, uh, the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder before price reverses and falls away. Or after a downtrend, price you know puts an inverse head and shoulders, whereby we have the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder before price rises. Okay, and um, one of the other final ones with patterns you'll see is a, a rising and falling wedges. Okay, so a rising wedge. Well, you know it's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? You can see it there. Okay, it's building and building and building until it falls away. Or a falling wedge. Okay, where we can see price is just basically just you know working its way down in a small channel before it actually pops north so you'll find that you know um yeah, as i said 
candlesticks can be reversed as their own, but they can be part of bigger chart patterns. And once again, you know, there is actually some uh, great webinars in the Trading Spotlight Archive on various types of price actual reverse and patterns, okay, as opposed to just merely candlesticks. So, you know, there, you know, there's two ways that you can start to identify possible reversals. Next way that we want to talk about is invariably about trend line breaks, okay, in terms of identifying possible reversals. When a, uh, a clear trend exists, you know, it's, it's quite easy to draw a trend line, right? It's quite, uh, they should, you know, a good trend line will stand out very clearly. And when this is broken, this can be a great time to trade a possible reversal. Uh, and there are variations on this, you know, I appreciate that some of the more experienced traders might um, have, you know, variations on how to do that. And, you know, and uh, we can uh, we can talk about that as we look at the, uh, the live charts. But generally, let's have a look, is that a case of where we have, you know, here in this particular upper example, it's a very clear uptrend. OK, it's a very clear uptrend and there's a very clear upper trend line there. And once that price is broken, OK. Once price breaks that trend line, well then, you know, that is part of us helping explore and identify a transition, okay? We have transitioned from a downtrend to a possible uptrend. And as I said, you know, very experienced traders would be looking at how, you know, how price breaks the trend line and then actually comes back. Sometimes it'll actually come back and kiss that trend line, you know, exactly before it reverses and moves away. Other times on the uptrend, okay, you can see that this has been a quite a clear uptrend, okay, quite a clear uptrend has worked away, sort of uptrend accelerated, okay, you know, some, uh, some, you know, uh, before it basically, before actually what it does is it puts in a double top formation and then rolls away and then breaks that extended trend line, okay, just to confirm that there has been a transition going on from uh, a transition going on from the kind of from the uptrend to a now and a downtrend. Furthermore, you know, what you might say is, that, as I said, the experienced traders might actually sort of have just drawn additional sort of tighter trend lines. There. I apologise for that. That's, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's just more my uh, that's more my artistry skills. Okay, as I say every week, I'm a better trader than I am a uh, an artist. But identifying those trend lines and those trend line breaks, as I said, that's where it gives us the opportunity to sort of start to identify where there might be a possible reversal happening, a possible transition. Okay, a transition from downtrend across into an uptrend or equally after an uptrend transitioning across to a downtrend and we break that trend line that gives us the uh, the opportunity to sort of how we would look to particularly trade in the uh, in the what is the new direction post uh, post transition and uh, one of the uh, the final ways i'm going to talk about today is about using divergence okay so uh, i appreciate some of the people in the room may know what divergence is some people are new to trading may have no idea whatsoever but you know divergence as it says there's understanding how to use divergence can help a trader turn an indicator from a lagging indicator into a leading indicator okay as a leading indicator, divergence can help us identify a change in momentum in trend that may signal a possible reversal approaching. And what you'll find is that traders often use, they can use most indicators, but very popular to use to identify divergence on indicators like the MACD, Stochastic, and the RSI. Now, a few weeks ago, we did a, uh, we did a, uh, um, uh, a webinar here on talking about trading using the, the MACD and part of that was about actually sort of identifying helping the MACD to use identify divergence which might give you an opportunity to identify when a market is in transition so if you want to go into that in much more depth then please find that uh, that webinar in the uh, uh, trading spotlight webinar archive okay it's about how to trade using the uh, the MACD and you'll find a good part of that deals with about identifying divergence but I recommend if you're joining us for the first time well you know what we're looking at here is on the tool is, is you can see price has basically just been effectively in an uptrend moving up uh, and it actually we can see it breaks the trend line here to sort of give the transition that we're away but what we also had here, and this is the, the MACD beneath us, is that as, as price was making a new high, let's just draw a clear these, as price was making a new highs, the actual, the indicator, the MACD indicator wasn't following through, okay? It was actually sort of falling behind on it. 
So it's a uh, it's a case of recognizing, you know, when you're seeing that price is making new highs, but the MACD in this case indicates it is failing to make it. We have a divergence, and that can give you an indication that well, invariably the trend is about to transition and reverse. Uh, and on this example here, we can see that you know price has been price has been moving down. Okay, we can see that price is making those kind of new lows, but what we can see is that although price was making new lows the MACD indicator wasn't following through. The actual MACD indicator was making higher lows. So you've got, once again, you've got divergence. And what we can see is if we had, you know, with a trend line there, is once price had broken that trend line, you can see for yourself that price actually accelerated to the upside. So divergence is, you know, it's a useful tool to understand, okay? It is a, it's, it's a helpful tool and it can be one of those tools that, you know, just helps you identify, you know, possible uh, sort of uh, uh, possible areas where the trend is coming to an end and it might be in a transition towards a, uh, towards a reversal. And uh, uh, Peter says that a brilliant webinar the other week on divergence, found three trades today using divergence, thanks to your webinar the other week. Um, that's brilliant. That's uh, that's great, Peter. Um, that's yeah, that's super super to hear. Okay, so you know, for everybody else who's here, recommend go and uh, go and have a look at that uh, that webinar. Okay, in the uh, in the archive there, you'll find it's uh, really helpful. You know, we try to we try to you know, for Peter, we try to help as much as we uh, we can. And the, the archive has some fantastic sort of uh, material in there. My uh, colleagues Marcus and Jens, they do a grand job. Okay, with uh, putting up all manner of other different sort of. Uh, um, uh, webinar topic so please you know go to it if you like that webinar give us a like okay put a comment in it give us a if there's a question or if you've got ideas for future webinars we you know we, we're all like uh, we are all ears to to hear that so but there you go that's how uh, you can use uh divergence so uh, you know what we find is all of those elements can help you identify possible reversals okay however what you can do as a trader is you can improve your chances when you combine different reversal tools together. All right, this helps nudge the probability of success in your favor. And so once again, we've come back to it and I've talked about it before, you know, we're looking for a confluence of events, all right? Uh, and with practice, you'll recognize such a confluence. So, you know, each one of those four, okay, price action candlesticks, price action patterns, okay? Uh, we have that, we had trend line breaks and we have divergence, okay? All four of those, in themselves can actually help you identify when a reversal is coming and allow you to start to position yourself accordingly. However, once you start to combine them and you get a confluence of events, that is when we see greater probability of success. Now, of course, that means that, you know, in terms of our frequency of trades or opportunities, that reduces. But, you know, certainly for the way I like to trade, okay, I am happier to take fewer opportunities, but of a higher quality. Okay. For me, in my trading, it's always been about quality over quantity. That's the way I like to, to, to look at working. So, you know, here's uh, an example here. This is the uh, the euro yen on the uh, the weekly chart. Okay, uh, and you can see there's been you know price has been in a uh, price has been in a downtrend here. Okay, price has been working its way down. Okay, you can see there's a trend line there which is you know an upper trend line which has been uh, uh, working away uh, and we actually even have a, a sort of a more a shorter time sort of trend there okay but at the same time that as I said, at the same time that price is making new lows well what we can actually see is that actually the MACD indicator isn't following through isn't following through so we have a trend line breaks along with divergence we've got a couple of things coming together and you know you might actually see then you know there's a little bit of rejection candles there at the time okay so you've got a, an element of a couple of things coming together at a time and place that that gives you an indication that the, you know that this trend is probably coming towards an end and we're likely to see a transition towards a, a new trend which then allows you to sort of start to look at trading either if you're a very aggressive trader at the break of the trend line or more likely that actually, you know, once you've seen the break of the second trend line following through, okay, following through with the MAC divergence as well, well, that allows you to basically to, 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 to take your trade and to position yourself accordingly. And that is what that is what we're actually particularly looking for. As I said, looking for that confluence of events.
Uh, and here's uh, an example here. This is uh, this is actually the dollar index here. Okay, and once again, as I said, we're just looking for looking for those kind of confluence of events. Uh, and what we actually have here is, you know, you can see very clearly price has been in an uptrend here from the uh, bottom left on the four hour chart. Very nice uptrend, okay, quite clearly an uptrend, okay. We're making higher highs, higher lows all the way across. And we have, you know, we've got a supporting trend line here in place. Okay, we've got a supporting trend line here in place. And then actually price moves up, price actually accelerates in its uptrend. But, you know, we see the first kind of top is that price here, it reverses after it prints an engulfing candle, okay. For it prints an engulfing candle, it's also a key reversal candle. Price then actually sort of drifts before it puts in, as you can see there, puts in a double top. So I've got a double top reversal pattern. And at the top of, you know, we've got the top of the first peak and the second peak here. The second peak is also a an engulfing candle, key reversal candle. So I now have, you know, a clear uptrend that has had, you know, price action candlestick patterns, uh, price action candlesticks, and also a price action pattern in a, uh, a double top, uh, and then actually breaks the uh, the break the trend line here. Okay, so uh, you know, aggressive traders would have probably been looking at trading, you know, at least the sort of the the second the second top. Okay, the second top, the second um, sort of engulfing candle, or you know, traders who are uh, you know less risk aggressive, you know, would have been waiting to see that the the trend line break would occur to allow them to position themselves uh, on the short side. So once again, it is you know about having a confluence of events, all right? Two, three, four things coming together at a time and a place that allow you, gives you the indication that there's a good chance that there is a reversal about to occur. And that is what allows you to, to basically to, to sort of engage in that particular market. And uh, here's you know another example. This is uh, this is euro yen on the uh, the daily chart here. Okay, so just trying to show different time frames. Okay, that you know all of these patterns. Okay, all of these uh, all of these elements. Okay, they you know they they turn up regardless of whether you're trading a five minute chart, an hour chart, a daily chart, or a monthly chart. Okay, we're always very keen on sharing uh, you know ideas and concepts with you that are. That work across you know, all instruments and all time frames. We appreciate we have a broad range of people here who come and join us. And so we want to give you ideas to be able to take away and work upon yourself. So <clears throat> here we have, as I said, this is your again on the daily chart. Um, you know, we can see this for whatever reason. We have a, a you know an area here, and price has uh, price has transitioned here. Okay, price was in a downtrend. Okay, price uh, transitioned to a uh, an uptrend. And then what we saw, you know, was price was, you know, starting to hit this level, let's say around about 122.60 area, okay. And what you can actually see there, let's just get rid of some of these drawings, is that, you know, it didn't hit it once, okay, not even twice, but actually three times, okay. And on the third time, what we also had was effectively a uh, finished with an engulfing candle, key reversal candle. So we have that, you know, a, a, a triple top happening there, price action pattern that is ended, okay, with a uh, engulfing candle, key reversal candle, uh, and then it followed its way through with uh, breaking or supporting trend line okay so once again there's you know there's confluence of events uh, and also we had divergence didn't we okay price was trying to make these new highs but you can see that the macd indicator was failing to follow through and it wasn't it so you know you've got you know you've got price action candlesticks you've got price action patterns in the triple top you've got divergence followed by an actual trend line break so you know it's it's a case of as i said you're waiting for everything to come together before price and, and actually as you see price breaks and then you know as i said quite often will come back and retest the area of the trend line before it starts to fall before it starts to fall away and that's what you know we want to try and get across to you, you know is that all of these areas all of these particular elements can be used individually but it's when they come together and build your confluence event and that is when you're setting yourself up for the best chances for success okay and as i said that means that you know the the number of trades you'll have will go down so you know your quantity will decrease but your quality will increase and that's that's what we're uh, trying to share with you as the as the message here so in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, um, trading reversals is very popular with many traders, uh, though it is important to understand exactly why you're trading reversals. Okay, remember what we said at the start about, you know, do you have an edge? Okay, which you do now based upon, you know, understanding what the four elements we've discussed 
Okay, or have you been trading reverse because of ego? Because you've just you know you're a bit grumpy and frustrated, and you've missed out on a trade, and you and you want to basically you know prove to the market who's right. As I said, there are several ways to identify and trade reversals. Okay, uh, and one of the first parts is recognizing what phase is the market in. Okay, is the market in a downtrend? Is it going sideways? Is it in an uptrend, or is it in a downtrend that's transitioning to an uptrend, or is it an uptrend transitioning to a downtrend? Identifying those that phase of market can help you. Okay, we looked at price action candlesticks, which may be part of a price action or bigger reversal pattern. We looked at trend line breaks and we looked at divergence. Okay, and each you know each one of those four you could utilize as a way to trigger a reversal trade. However, okay, we'll talk about from experiences that when you get that confluence of events, that of when many reversal signals come together, that is actually much more important. That is actually much more useful to you as a uh, as a trader. Okay. So I hope you found that uh, useful and, you know, we'll have a quick look at some of the charts. And if you want to join uh, afterwards, if you want more support, come and join us in the uh, Trading Spotlight community on Traders Yard there. You'll see us there uh, every day. My colleagues, Marcus and Jens, they put up some excellent, uh, excellent stuff on there. Have a look at tradersyard.com forward slash group forward slash 312. I'm going to be in there for the, uh, the rest of the afternoon if you have further questions. And, uh, you know, the next Trading Spotlight webinar will be uh, on Wednesday. My colleague Marcus is going to talk about how to improve your trading psychology. What is it, psychology? How you improve your trading psychology? How does that bias affect your trading? And maybe tips to uh, avoid some emotional trading. Okay, and that's 2 o'clock Wednesday, 13th of May. As always, there's lots of analysis and education and tools and resources on the AdmiralMarkets.com website. And, you know, if you uh, want to contact us, do so whoops, on the uh, email, hello at AdmiralMarkets.com or YouTube.com uh, forward slash AdmiralMarkets, where you'll find all the uh, Trading Spotlight webinars and also Facebook.com forward slash AdmiralMarkets Global. So I hope you found that useful, ladies and gentlemen. If you, we've got just a couple of minutes late and uh, left, and so if you'll just bear with me, I'm just going to switch across. We'll have a look at one or two examples. As always, I uh, appreciate you know we're just uh, you know short of time, but hopefully you know, there, there's some great um, some great resources there, okay, material there that you can basically look at to to sort of give you an idea. And uh, you know, and if you just bear with me, we'll just switch quickly across to the uh, the charts and have a look at maybe one or two little quick examples there just to uh, to finish off our to finish off our session today. So just one second. Great, hopefully you can all see it. So this is the uh, Admiral Market uh, MT4 platform. Uh, you know, this is on my dollar profile, okay? So uh, some, some great feedback there. Robert says, great stuff. Anthony says, thank you again. It, uh, Evo says, thanks. Uh, Apurva is uh, is saying, confluence events is also visible in different time frames. And yeah, yeah, absolutely right, okay? Yeah, absolutely right, okay? That's what, we're, uh, that's what we're hoping for, okay? Is that you'll have ideas and thoughts here that you can utilize across your whole trading spectrum okay whether you're a five minute you're a dollar trader or a monthly gold trader so and here's bitcoin bitcoin's been a bit interesting here as you can see and uh what, what we have here let's just get my drawing tools up here okay so um, this is the hourly chart of bitcoin and uh, you know you can see that it was you know it's just making its way up here okay making its way up and then you know what we had was that uh, price was running up into this big yesterday's um, previous highs that was also at the 10,000 okay 10,000 big round psychological number uh, and what we actually had was you know we we had a bit of a double top you might even say a triple top there okay pattern before price actually decided to go break that supporting trend line and well you can see how how strongly it broke off there but you know once again it's that kind of confluence of events we had a you know, very strong uptrend and we can start to see transition to a downtrend all right triple triple tops okay triple top reversal patterns there uh, that just basically just gives you that an indication that you know at a particular significant level that we're interested in the price is price is just very likely to uh, to reverse um, let's have a look at some quickly, just one or two minutes or there. Let's, uh, let's have a look at, uh, what have we got here? Uh, let's have a look at cable, okay? Cable, because uh, 
yeah, this this is a good uh, this is a good example of what we have here is from this is the weekly chart from a uh, from a couple of years ago, but you know it's just a nice big clear indication is that uh, you can see that here uh, after uh, we had price sort of just putting itself into it's easy to use these drawing tools price was just bouncing away here. You might say it's double bottom. Some people might even say it's triple bottom that finished with uh, an engulfing candle. Okay. Uh, before price went in a very nice uptrend. Okay, price went in a very nice uptrend right, uh, until it hit here. This was the 200 period moving average, which was also a double top for us, which was also finished by a price action candlestick of an engulfing candle stroke key reversal candle. So hopefully you can see there, you know, once again, there's just like three or four things, a confluence of events, coming together, okay, that allowed you to, to uh, be ready to sort of trade to the short side. And then the final element was also basically with the trend line break as well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, just a couple of quick examples there. I appreciate we're always a bit pressed for time, but we want to get as much here across to you as possible. Um, as always, thank you very much for joining. If you're liking this and watching this on YouTube, please give us a like. If you've got questions, please put them in into the uh, chat box. We'll happily take them and help you. And uh, as always, I wish you the best of success in your own trading, ladies and gentlemen. And I look forward to, to speaking to you on, uh, on the next Admiral Markets Trading Spotlight webinar. Trade well, everybody. Thanks.